Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Whales Destroying the World. Whales Destroying the World is a card game that is a team-based deduction game in which you're going to be trying to have a little bit of tableau management by whales collecting three sets of cards of three different colors, and humans are just trying to get somebody to have three human cards. Now, much like any other team-based or deduction-based game, you're going to either be playing as the whale team, which is, of course, the good guys, or the dastardly humans that are trying to keep the world from being destroyed. And uh, you're going to be drawing cards from a deck. You'll be trying to hand those cards off to other players or get them yourselves by bluffing or telling the truth truth, and then completing your objective, humans being to give the cards away or to get them themselves to have three humans in one player's tableau, or a whale winning by themselves having two cards um, of the same color of three different types. They can win individually like that, but they don't want the humans to win either. And the game is going to play until somebody wins or the humans win, and uh, that is the basic idea for the game. Will the whales destroy the world, or can the humans unite together and force one of the members to have three human cards? We'll find out after I show you the game and all the components, and then I will give you a brief summary as to how to play. So here we have the game Whales Destroying the World and everything that's included, um, not including any stretch goals or anything else that might be on the campaign, but just the base uh, game. So here we have the how to play card, which will have a little QR code, which will show you how to play the game, but you won't need that because I'm going to tell you right now. You'll also get two stacks of cards here. This is for the uh, one, uh, three to four player game, and over here is for the additional five and, of course, six player game. You'll be adding in the cards. If you're playing with five players, add these to this deck. If you're playing with six, you add both of these to the deck. These are the class cards. There's going to be two humans and four whales in a Four player game you have one human and then you can go five and six of course you can change the difficulty by changing around where the humans go um, and you can also add in a variant where if you're playing four players you can do this maybe there's a human maybe there's not or maybe there is uh, two humans um, or maybe there's not. So it's up to you how you want to kind of reorganize these things here. But for simplicity's sake, we're just going to have two, three, and four. We'll take away these. We won't need these or these because we're going to go ahead and show you how to play. So we'll shuffle these up basically like this. And then every player is going to get one of these cards here. And that will be their specific class. And like I said before, the whales are trying to destroy the world. And in order to destroy the world, it's pretty simple. What they're going to need to do is collect sets of a color. So for instance, this player is a whale and he's secret. Nobody gets know his stuff but he's got that and he also will have uh, these and then he also needs gray and if he accomplishes this he has a two of gray a two of blue and two of red that will signal the end of the game and the whales will have the opportunity to win now he's going to then add up all his total points and the whales will all do the same whoever has the most points is the winner if you have additional human cards that are attached to your whale the lowest card will get removed from the game by simply putting that over so instead he'll have um 13 points instead of 14 points. So adding, having human cards next to you is usually not good if you are a whale. That being said, that's the way for the whales to win. If you are playing as the human player, which is this guy over here, if any player, including him, is able to get three humans, the humans all will win as a team, whether there's one or two humans in the bunch. So uh, that is the basic idea of how you're going to be winning. I'll set aside these cards now as an example. And once again, we'll go ahead and shuffle these guys up and place them down for your amusement, of course. Now, the beginning player will be this guy over here, and he's going to go ahead and check his class. And then he's going to draw two of these cards here. After that, he's going to go ahead and discard one of them. He'll go ahead and get rid of this one here. He got rid of a Gorek Gray, so we can go ahead and tell this player, hey, this is a oh, red five. After that, this player will have the choice to say, yes, I want the card, or no, I don't want the card. If he doesn't want the card, it will go to this player, and if it does, if he doesn't want the card, it'll go to him. And that is basically how whales are going to win, is by collecting those sets, right? Human players can bluff to, and there's different cards that you can go ahead and gather, and so can whales. So the next player is going to get to go, and he'll draw two cards here. Well, he's not a human, so uh, humans benefit uh, from these by getting three of them. Anybody can do that. But because he's not, uh, he might not want this card, because it's going to reduce his uh, his point total. So he can discard that one and be like, oh, this is a red 10. And he'll ask this player, do you want that card? And he'll go, well, that's a pretty good card, especially high number count. I'll, get, I'll take it. Now he actually got a human card. If he's a human, it doesn't hurt him. If he's a whale, he's going to be in trouble because uh, if the whales do end up winning this game, he's going to be down one additional card. And it'll just go around the table like that. This player's not going to get it. He's got a 10 and he's got this one. He's got an interesting choice to make. Does he discard, do we, does he discard the 10 here? That's revealing that this card is probably going to be lower or not as good. Or does he discard the human card and hope that he can get the 10? Probably going to go ahead and discard that human card. He'll bluff and be like, hey, 
hey, this is a red one, do you want it? And this player will be like, mm, probably not, it's not that good, or maybe I'll take it because I don't have any cards. And either way, this card will go to somebody. And that's how the game basically works. It'll continue going around the table until some whale gets two, uh, uh, two of each color, two, two of the, each of the three colors, or somebody gets three human cards. If all three human cards are flipped uh, uh, on one side of one player, the humans will win, and we will reveal and say hi to all the humans. If not, then the whales will compare points, and that person, the person who has the most points is the winner. And that's how you play the game, Whales Destroying the World. All right, let's come up and talk about it. So before we get into the review, I'm going to get two caveats. The first one is that in the deck, you're going to find actually random cards like this one here. And this one here is a penguin. Or, or a turtle, I should say, and it is going to be a discarded tableau card, which means if you get it, you have to get rid of a card in your tableau, or if somebody else gets it, they'll have to get rid of a card in their tableau. That can be beneficial for, let's say, a whale that has a human, or uh, let's say a human giving it to a whale player who is more than likely going to win. Uh, then also, if you are a whale, let's say, and you got a two and a four, that is all you need for blue, so you're going to want to go for grays and reds. But let's say somebody says, oh, you, you, you can have this, uh, this red four, do you want it? And he's like, well, yeah, I need that red four and then you he takes it now that you've got three of the same color you discard all of them so you have to get two of each if you ever get three of the same color you have to discard all those colors and then you are that far that far away from winning the game once again okay so that's the basic idea of it so what do i think about it well, let's go through the categories the first one is artwork the artwork is super cool i love the style of like the different whales basically crushing through all the buildings it's based on the different numbers they're going to have different artwork and uh, i also has of course the human cards that look like kind of like superhero astronauts they're bent on world salvation and of course they're the bad guys in this game so the theme is super funny you have whales busting through the sidewalk or busting through the streets uh jumping over and hitting cars it's not outright super violent there's no people that are being harmed in the picture so that's you know gonna be probably a little more kid friendly but at the same time it has some violent whales destroying the world which is super funny i like that aspect of the game and the additional add, add of the little tortoise here is pretty funny as well also overall the art quality is, is, is pretty cool some people are going to be like eh some people are going to like it uh, I don't think most people are going to dislike it though uh, as for the game mechanics themselves the game runs very smoothly and very quickly the first time we the first couple times we play this including the live play we simply drew one card into the bluff drawing two discarding one and then doing that uh, and then that one afterwards is much better um, after we realized how that that's how you played it <laughs> way more fun but the original if you see our live play you'll see that even just drawing the one card was a lot of fun so the additional add-on to actually being to choose which one you want to go for and how you want to bluff is more entertaining especially maybe you get two tens or you get two humans you go oh you know i discarded the human this is a 10 a, a 10 or something like that player might be like whatever it's probably not a human so i'll take it and then they get the human uh usually i felt like humans were more likely to win this game because there's less of them and it's more likely that whales are going to be greedy but there are occasions when the whales do win which is cool because whales it teaches them they have to work together just enough to where the humans don't win but um but not enough to actually let somebody else another whale win the game that's that's a really interesting aspect it's it's kind of a hidden team game but it's not a deduction game or a trader base game this is more about bluffing and uh and a little bit of strategy as to how you want to pull the cards and who you want to give them to overall it's fun it's quick it's lighthearted, and it's definitely funny we had a good time we played this over and over again on the stream like i said for me personally i enjoyed this game it's super apparent that everybody here as well enjoyed the game and if it's something that you're interested in taking a look at you should definitely take a look at it um because it is an enjoyable little game it's also pretty cheap on kickstarter i think it's like 10 or 15 bucks for the entire game with whatever stretch goals it might come out with overall though i had a really good experience with the game i enjoyed the different bluffing aspects the ability to draw the two different cards and choose between them and i think it could uh, if i was going to give it a couple critiques i suppose there would be adding more action cards would be pretty cool as well as adding additional player counts the game's rather quick as it is with six players and it does feel fine with uh four five or six players i did enjoy it all the way through like that um so even th I think it's three players as well, yeah. But uh, overall, it was enjoyable with all the player counts, so that's super cool as well. But yeah, adding additional action cards might be cool. Adding additional uh, little variants of play throughout the game would be nice. But as it stands, it's a nice, solid little game. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy to teach. Uh, cute artwork, all that. So if you're interested, like I said, go ahead and check out the description. The Kickst uh, it's currently on Kickstarter. Pretty cheap, pretty fun. Whales destroying the world. I mean, you just gotta love that theme, right? Do go ahead and make up the mind for yourself.